My father, Julian Navarro Malon, uh, was born in October 18, 1999 in Manila. At the age of uh, around four or five years old, the family decided to go to my Itai's place in Zamboanga. From there, he was able to know something about butterflies, even how to collect, how to mount, although he doesn't have the materials. So from these readings, uh, he secured his own net, improvised net, even the insect pens. He used for tailored pens as materials for mounting butterflies, and that is start. One day, my father witnessed a rare phenomenon. It was a butterfly migration. Probably the butterflies came from the distant uh, Sulu and Tawitawi group of islands, and probably even from Sabah, North Borneo. That event uh, became a permanent, uh, just like a uh, fossilized in his brain, never to be erased. In Cebu, after his retirement, somebody re uh, took over his place, uh, they, they, uh, they trained a girl, and then they were able to record 198 species of butterflies. And that's quite a good number, considering that Cebu is a small area with very least forest compared to the other uh, province, provinces. At that time, then, he became a member of the International Vidopteris Society based in the uh, uh, United States. And so he, he had an access to all the butterfly collectors around the world. You can even exchange butterflies to any part. That's why the collection the family doesn't mean that he had been to those places, but because of the exchanges of specimens with the members of the group. In Cebu, uh, the, after uh, receiving the, the, the returned materials, meaning because he's in duplicate, one for the British Museum, and one for, for his collection, so that he will know the, the, the name. And he realized later that some of them doesn't have name. So he uh, attempted to, to write, that. and it's not quite difficult because he doesn't know parts of the butterfly, so you have to study all those parts, and uh, we'll just make it short. So he was able to publish uh, some, and became the first, probably the first Filipino author of a new scientific name. Eastern Dam area, the forest surrounding the dam site. You know, in the olden days, uh, something like 40 years ago, it's one of the best collecting grounds in Cebu. This butterfly is uh, one of the determinants in the kind of environment that we have. So more butterflies meaning a good quality of environment. I hope even this remaining forest must be preserved at all costs. This is one of the few. Conserving butterflies 
especially for me as a butterfly collector and the other butterfly enthusiasts, it's very important to us. But it's not only butterflies. The one that flies during night time, the castle, the, the moths, they're also important. There are very few authorities and moths that if some Filipinos will only start collecting moth now, it would be very sad or very poor collector you are if you cannot uh, discover even 30 new species in your lifetime because there are so many to be discovered. But all this to be discovered will be gone even before <laughs> discovering it because the, 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 the habitat will be gone. Of course, there's always hope as long as we are alive. But then, uh, how sincere are, are we and how capable we are? As long as we can make awareness and then the government will stop the, the people to farm these areas. But right now, some areas are being uh, converted into farm and they are using chemical. And that's still another problem. But what we want to be preserved is the remaining forest. Because there's no real strict government policy to stop this. We hope the government can help make these people uh, destroying trees to be part of the program. Because in the forest owned by the government, I'm sorry to say this, they don't have control. People keep on, keep on destroying the forest every year. Even in Cebu, we have only remaining 0.1% forest cover. Can we protect that remaining 0.1%? It's not 1%, it's 0.1%. It's only around 1,600 hectares. But even that, if we can conserve that, that would be nice enough. After more than one year, that was in year 2010 and 11, uh, I recorded 95 compared to the original 98, uh, 198, and then out of this 95, I, I checked that around 60 are endangered already. Meaning to say, the collecting ground, the forest before we used to collect virgin forest, in Mount Manongal, Camp 7, Buisan and the other, there were already settlers, there were already mga kaineros. Then the forests were so badly uh, destroyed. That's why one of the reasons of the dwindling number was uh, the habitat's gone. Paro, paro, bukid, lalilipad, lipad, sa gitna ng daan. Papaga, pagaspas, isang barang tapis, isang dang my paineta pa siya, may suklay pa madin, nagwaste o hetes ang palalabasin. Haharap sa altar at mananalamin at sa kalalakad ng pakendeke.